be going backwards. Sorry. Uh, nothing. Oh! Whoops. Sorry, Fran. Have you come for Saucepan Man's party? Party? Oh, I love parties. All the ice cream and balloons and games. Well, we have games. Statues is my favourite. And sausages on sticks. I love them. So why is he having a party? Is it his birthday? Because <laughs> if it is, Fran, we should have I... brought him something. Fran. A present, but we haven't Fran, because you... we didn't know. Do you think he'll be upset because... Fran! No, it's not his birthday. He doesn't have a birthday. What? Well, you know Saucepan Man. Even if he did have a birthday, he'd forget when it was. So, he just has a party in Moonface's house every time the Land of Goodies arrives at the faraway tree. The Land of Goodies? What's that? It's a wonderful place where sweets and cakes just grow on trees. And it's all free. I thought you said Saucepan Man was bringing all the goodies. He is. I just had a few of these left over from the last party. These are Google buns. And that's a pot biscuit. What's this? That's a toffee shock. Ha! Huh. It'd take a pretty special toffee to shock me. It's getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, Mr. P. Ought to be ashamed of yourself. How's a pixie supposed to get any sleep with that row going on? I'm sorry. I didn't realise I was being so noisy. Silly old buffoon. Moonface! Ha <laughs> ha! Visitors! Hello! What's going on? A party? Yes, it's Saucepanman's party. He's having it at your house. And Silky said he'd gone to the Land of Goodies to get all sorts of delicious things and... Oh, no. The Land of Goodies? Is something the matter, Moonface? I'll say there is. The Land of Goodies won't be at the top of the tree for another week. Where do you think he is, then? We'd better go and find out. Oh, dear. I hope he's all right. Don't worry, Fran. Saucepan Man can look after himself. No, he can't. He's hopeless. Oh. Wow! Well, is that all you can think of to say? <laughs> Hiya, Toots. Want a ride? You can talk! <laughs> well, what do you know? So can you! Come on, hop on! Race you there and back again. <sighs> Whee! An inrage, a guy. An outrage. I haven't done anything. You call pinching a load of sweets nothing. What? But I. Where do you think you are, right? The land of goodies. And what are you? I'm all your dreams come true. What? Just put me on your head and dream your favorite dream. Well, all right. Oh, wow. <laughs> to now search me but it seems to be keeping her quiet for once search hmm. <laughs> that reminds me of something now what was it <laughs> ah saucepan man oh no saucepan man i'd almost forgotten excuse me uh, sorry i can't stop now off on rather an important picnic don't you know you haven't seen a funny chap wearing a load of saucepans anywhere about have you about so tall clanks a lot he's in the toy fort over there he was arrested by the toy patrol for stealing come along <laughs> we don't mix with rip rap Man, come on I don't understand. Saucepan Man isn't a thief. 
Well, no. But suppose he thought he was in the land of goodies. Everything's free there. You can take whatever you want and no one minds. So, he might have gone into that sweet shop here. And helped himself. Look! Oh, this is a fine fettle of quiche. Um, a fine fiddle of kvesh. A, a, a fine kettle of fish. Oh, poor saucepan man. How on earth are we going to get him out of there? Got it! No, that wouldn't work. I know. We could... No, that's just silly. Ouch! <laughs> Got it! Are you sure this is going to work? How about you wearing a suit and... With a head like mine? They'd never believe I was a soldier. I suppose not. Oh, well. Here goes. Who goes there? Stand to attention when addressing an officer. By the right. On one leg. Quick. Hop. <sighs> Please, you've got to let me out. It's all a miserable hostage. I mean, a... Joe, how did you get here? Never mind that. You've got to dress up like me. Free? That's just the thing. The sweets here aren't free. That's how I got into this mess. Shh! Put this uniform on. It's a disguise. Bullseyes, yes. And never to mince and marshmallow. Ah, I get it. Phew. Prisoner has escaped! Sound the alarm! Come on! Stop fooling about you two and get after him! Uh, uh, oh. uh. <laughs> what did I say? Easy as falling off a log! Joe! Saucepan Man! Look out! Eradicate! Annihilate! Obliterate! Back to the faraway tree! Duplicate, castigate, devastate, humiliate, expurgate, fumigate. Oi! Now look here! I've told you not before! It's come to something when a pixie can't have a little afternoon snooze in peace! Now, that's what I call a close thing. And you must come to my party. Here, have a toffee shock. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was... quite delicious. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
you finished sharpening the toast yet? Sharpening the... He's not sharpening it, Fran. He's scraping the bad bits off. Ugh! I hate burnt toast. Psst! Quick! Silky says you've got to come. There's a wonderful land at the top of the tree today. Barney! What sort of a land? You'll see. Come on! We're just off to play, Mum. See you later. Scrub up the dirt and we scrub in the white Scrubbing all day long and far into the night Oh, there we go Look out! What? <laughs> it's not funny, I'm all wet <laughs> Yes, you are, as wet as a pancake Pancake? Ouch! I... Oh, just what do you think you're doing, eh? Blocking all my sunshine out like that, I've a good mind to... I'm sorry. It was an accident. Joe didn't mean to. Yes, I should hope not. But try that again, Sonny, and I'll have your knees for door knockers, or my name's not... Uh, uh... Oh, now what was it? Uh... On the tip of my tongue. Who was that? <laughs> Mr. What's-his-name. Funny name. Oh, I expect he's got another one, really. Only he can never remember it. Now, come on, or we'll be late. What can be keeping them? They're late. Uh, the 6th, I think. What? No, not the date. They're late. I hope they'll remember. September? No, June. September's quite a long way away. There you are, at last. Come on, or we'll never get there. Which land are we visiting, Moonface? It's the land of take what you want. Honestly, he'd forget his own head if it wasn't so big. It's the land of take what you want. That's what I said. Going to bed? It's only half past eleven. <laughs> Come on, saucepan man. Oh, I see. A joke. <laughs> wasn't very funny. Wow! Oh, bother! I forgot to bring my purse. Your purse? You don't need your purse. This is the land of take what you want. You mean... Yes! Brilliant! Wow! An elephant! Yes, he's mine, and I'm going to call him Rupert. Rupert? Uh, Fran, what are you going to do with him? I thought I'd take him home. He can live in the garden shed, and he can take me to school. Just imagine the look on Miss Potter's face when she sees me riding to lessons Fran? on an elephant. He might even sit Fran? on me. And that'd be good, because then it wouldn't matter Fran? if I him forward, because she'd be all flat and squashed. Fran! And... Yes? You'll never get him back down the faraway tree. I will. I could. He could. We could. Bye, Rupert. <laughs> Whoa! Look at him go! How does he do that? <laughs> Look what I've got. It's a bit of string. I'm sure it's very nice string, but... <laughs> oh, pretty good, eh? Well, I've not seen any of those since the last time I was here. Anti-gravity jumping boots. They are not. They're anti-gravity jumping boots. Watch. <laughs> what does it do? What? Your string. What's it for? This. Long talk. Talk. Who's talk? My new clock. Look. I tell the time, and I talk and tick, and I sing and dance till you feel quite sick. Isn't he wonderful? I've always wanted a talking clock. And now you've got one. At the third grunt, 
The time will be 12.27 and 30 seconds. But I can see I'm going to have to teach you some manners. I think it's about time we found something, Joe. Yes. Did you find anything, Beth? Yes. Look at this. Oh, a necklace, eh? Jolly good. Oh, it's not just a necklace. Watch. Wow! How'd you do that? I just wished. Watch. Pretty really good. Well, I'm sure I'll find something I want soon. A model train? No. An everlasting jar of pickled onions? Oh, I don't think so. A rubber chicken? Oh, please. Oh. What I really want, sir. Joe! Joe! Quickly! What? What is it? We were all having such a good time that we forgot what time it was. We've got to get oh. back. Oh. oh! no! We're stranded. Like that Robinson Friday when he got shipwrecked on the desert island with Long John Silver and the parrot, and he didn't have anyone to talk to except man finger me bobs and and what are we going to do? Don't you like it here? Well, yes, I did. But well, now I want to go home. Me too. It's all very well being able to take what you want, but if you haven't got anywhere to take it. And I didn't even get to find anything I wanted. Come along. I know just the very thing for you. Well, I suppose I might as well take a look. After all, we've got all the time in the world now. <laughs> exactly! Wow! Well, what do you think? Wow! Well, aren't you going to get in? Where are the controls? There aren't any! Oh! Put the helmet on! Now, all you have to do is think. What do you mean? The plane! It runs on thought power. Thought power? I wonder. Well, it's worth a try. I wonder what we'd have been having for tea. I wonder if we'll ever have tea again. I wonder... Everyone, now take us home. The tree, the faraway tree, we're home. <laughs> well done, Joe. <laughs> Take what you want. Give me the land of glad to be back any day. <laughs> <laughs> In a land filled with enchantment, there's a forest full of dreams where anything is possible.
said okay. Morning, huh? Talk. Where are you off to so bright and early? Thought I'd do a spot of exploring. Boring? I shouldn't think so. The top of the tree is never boring. Well, well, well. A little walking clock, eh? Wow! Hey! 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 Talk? Where have you... Hey! Hey! Put him down! Put him down! Oi! Come on! I've got a bone to pick with you! Something the matter? I should say there is. Your clock! Talk? What about him? Sounding his alarm bell at six o'clock in the morning, that's what. And then saucepan man joined him. At least they've gone now. Up through the hole in the clouds and... What? You heard. Morning, Silky. And another thing. Hello. We got up extra specially early today. Silky, it something the matter? Just... Well, on, I on. hope not. But it's Tog. He's gone. Be quiet! No. Oh. Badly salted, and you made me forget what I was going to say. What were you saying, Silky? Something about talk? He's gone. And according to the angry pixie, he's gone up through the hole in the clouds with Saucepan Man. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and find them. Yes! I'll go and get Moonface. And another thing. Where are we? I'm not sure. Come on, we'll ask in that shop over there. What a lovely little shop. I bet it sells sweets and chocolates and all sorts of wonderful things. Wow! It's just like I said. Uh, hum. Yes? We were wondering... Oh, were you wondering, eh? You haven't by any chance seen a walking clock around these parts and a chap with little pots and pans. I might be able to help you if you were to give me, say, 50 gold pieces. Yeah. Well? Well what? Have you seen them? No. Now, unless you want to buy something, be off with you. Well, she wasn't much help, was she? You could always ask at the school. Don't you know your road drill? Of course we do. Look right, look left, look right again. Then if the road's clear, you pay me 25 gold pieces and walk across. Just a minute. Wasn't that you in the shop just now? That information will cost you 100 gold coins. Here. 25 gold coins. Now can we cross? No. Nope. But you said... The car's coming. Twenty gold pieces. Twenty-five. The rate's gone up since this morning. Oh! Right. You can cross now. After you've paid me twenty-five oh, gold pieces. But we already have. Yes, I know you have, but that was five minutes ago. Here. You might as well take this as well. What now? Twenty-five gold coins per leg. If you want to walk across, it'll be another twenty-five gold coins each. We'll hop, thank you. Why are you all standing on your heads? It's the rules. During playtime, we have to stand on our heads and keep perfectly quiet and still, or else... Or else? Or else what? The BPTF. BPTF? Hmm. That spells Big Tuff. What's a Big Tuff? Come on! Chop Chop, look lively there! Come along, you don't want to be late for lessons, do you? But, but... Oh no, not her again. Ah, new bugs, eh? Well, I'll soon have you licked into shape. And if I don't, it's the BPTF for the lot of you. There, she said it too. The Biptuff. What is the Biptuff? You don't want to know. Now, inside with you before I start to get cross. 
Right. Out with your books, and you... <laughs> Three trains leave the station at the same time. One goes to Timbuktu, one goes to pieces, and one goes off the rails. What's the number you first thought of? Uh... Three? No, you numbskull! The Battle of Trafalgar! You! <gasps> Who put the lamb in a mm. lama dama ding dong Was it A, King Boffo III of Guatemala, B, Bertie the Flying Broom Cupboard, or C, a box of gerbils? This is stupid! <gasps> All these questions are just silly, and so are you. And another thing, where's Silky's clock? And Saucepan Man, there's some sensible questions for you, so there. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm afraid I'm going to have to teach you all a lesson. It's time for... The BPTF. What is the BIPTF? The Big Pink Tickling feather! <gasps> right. Let's see how you like a taste of your own medicine. What? Why, you got... Oh! <laughs> Give that... <laughs> Give that back, you little... <laughs> you worm! Oh, you're going to have all the to regret this! I miss something? Did someone tell a joke? <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Let's get out of here! I grabbed her feather and tickled her. <laughs> oh, God. If it hadn't cost me so many gold pieces, <laughs> I'd be laughing about the whole affair. <laughs> Talk, is something the matter? Seem to have got something stuck inside me. Ooh, could be anything. That cupboard was so full of... Oh! Oh, that's better. My purse! <laughs> oh! Thank you! Thank you! Now listen, Tok. You're not to go wandering off on your own again. Next time you might not be so lucky. Wow! Look at the time! I can't. It makes me dizzy. No. I mean they'll be wondering where we are at home. So it's down the slippery slip. Bye, Moonface. Bye, Silky. Whoa. Bye, Sauce Man. Bye. Would he be? He could be anywhere. He could be in the land of make-believe, or the land of baby animals, 
or the land of goodies. Oh, only I hope he's not there, because then he might have eaten so much that he wouldn't want any of Joe's homemade banana toffee we bought him and... Ran? Yes. Moonface is right, you know. You could talk the hind legs off a donkey. <laughs> you two are really cheeky sometimes. Silky! Oh, presents! It's some toffee we made. We thought Moonface and you would like some. Well, I certainly would. Let's ask Moonface. Do you like homemade banana toffee, Moonface? Do I like toffee? Do stars have wings? Do the birds twinkle in the sky at night? Uh, no. Don't they? Oh, I must have got it wrong. But I love toffee. It's homemade from Joe's special recipe. <laughs> I think he likes it. <laughs> I think you're right. Hello, one and all! Saucepan Man! You've got to come. Up there, it's all beautiful and snowy and... You mean, like a land of ice and snow? No. What do you mean, you don't know? It's wonderful! Snow in the middle of summer! Come on, then. Let's go. <gasps> yes, snow! Oh, I wish you'd listen. <laughs> What's the matter, Moonface? Aren't you coming too? I think he's trying to warn you about something. Mm. Oh, yes, the land of ice and snow. It could be very dangerous. There are polar bears up there. Big white bears with big white teeth, with big white paws, with big white claws. Joe! Joe! Come back! Saucepan Man! Don't go through the clouds! Oh, wow! Look at the snow! What the... Help! No! Well, I say, do mind all that! <laughs> Bought me a big one here, Eagle! Oh, bet it's not as big as mine, Boris. Here, put me down. What's going... Oh. Those ain't fish. No. Better throw them back. Oh, uh, uh, hold up, Boris. I've just had a thought. I bet these two would do a good job of spring cleaning the igloo. Oh, I've been wanting to say goodbye to those tiresome household chores for yonks. What? What's going on? It's your lucky day, Sunshine. You have just found employment in one of the most sought-after igloos in the district. What? <laughs> Thought you'd be pleased. <laughs> Joe! Saucepan Man! Come back! Beth, look! The hole's getting smaller. It's icing up! Here we are. Our igloo. Ouch! Ooh. Yep, and you're just in time to start work. Jerk? Who are you calling a jerk? Ooh. <laughs> when was the last time we did the washing up, Eagle? Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's see. Uh, oh, well, it must be uh, ooh, a couple of years. Mm. Oh, uh, should take them quite a while, then. Oh, some idea of yours to come here. Disappear? I wish I could. No, I said... Oh, forget it. Eat it? Eat what? Oh, I'm starving and cold. And when you finish that, you can vacuum the floors. Sort out me fish head collection. Clean the harpoons. And feed the gerbil. Gerbil? Pay the bill? I haven't had a bill. Oh. Yes! Got it! What? You've got an idea, haven't you? The three bears. The three bears? They know the polar bears in the land of ice and snow. I'm sure they'd be able to help. Come on! So, what's on telly, Boris? Oh! <laughs> Pro celebrity penguin curling! <laughs> Great! Here we are. Someone's knocking at my door. Someone's knocking at my door. 
Someone's knocking at my door, and if they're not careful, they're going to fizzing break it, just like that fizzing Goldilocks broke my fizzing chair. Oh, baby bear. It'll be soap and water for you if you carry on like that. This will be indeed. Moonface, it's you! Well, it was the last time I looked. So, do you think you'd be able to help? Any friend of Moonface's is a friend of ours, right? Yeah, set fizzing Goldilocks. <gasps> Baby Bear! You think you could go there and... I could do better than that. We can all go there. All? But how? The hole in the clouds iced over. And anyway, the land of ice and snow will have moved on by now. <laughs> they don't call this the enchanted wood for nothing, you know. Now, if we all hold hands... I'm not holding hands with a fizzing girl. You know something? You are a very bad-mannered bear. You going to do something about it? Try me. You don't want to mess with Fran. She's a black belt at macrame. <laughs> Husband man, they're asleep. What's going on? It's the servant. Oh, it's no use. There's nowhere to hide. To ride? Something to ride? Where? Oh, just come on. What's that? It looks... it looks like a little cottage. I don't think so. Looks like a little cottage to me. Well, maybe we can hide it. Hey! It's Moonface! Oh. Whoa! Hey! Unhand those two immediately! You what? Afternoon, Igor, Boris... What? <laughs> Daddy Bear! And Mummy too! What a nice surprise! Oh! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, How did you get here? Oh, a few magic words and a lot of wishing. But now we're here, do you think you could let those two go? Uh, friends of ours, do you see? But these are our servants. No. These are Joe and Saucepan Man. And it's time they went home. We fished them up fair and square. All right. Ouch! How did you find us? Like Duddy Bear said, with a little magic. You are two very, very bad bears. Taking other people and making them be your servants isn't very nice, you know. And Joe could have been home late for tea. <laughs> How do they do that? Search me. Oh well, back to the igloo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks a million. Come and see us any time you're passing. By the way, what's for tea? I'm starving. Spaghetti bolognese and apple pie. With ice cream. Oh, no. Not ice cream. <laughs> <laughs>
it was the strangest dream ever. There was this hippopotamus, and it was playing cricket, and then it sort of changed, and it had a face like... like... Oi! It's outrageous. You try and get a little sleep and... You! What? Are you addressing me, young woman? Yes, the hippo in my dream. It looked just like you. Oh, but I, 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 never in my life have I... Oh, you've been hearing from my lawyer. What's a lawyer? Uh, I think it's French for teapot. Or is it giraffe? Well, as for you, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Why? What have I done? Go on, Fran. What? What about? Your dream. You were telling us about the dream you had last night. Dreams? There are more dreams than you can shake a stick at up at the top of the tree today. How do you mean? The land of dreams. The land of dreams. Sounds wonderful. You might think so, but things can get a little bit out of hand up. Joe? Dreamland, here I come. Joe? Joe! Oh, no! Oh, where are they off to? The land of dreams. Ice creams? Now you're talking. It doesn't look very interesting. Yes, we'll come back down before... What's going on? It's just as I feared. The dream effect is taking over. Dream effect? Yes, like I said, things can get a little out of hand. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here? Let's be having you. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, is it? Well, perhaps you'd like to explain that to the sergeant. You're booked. What's going on? Oh, dear. We run the min, 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 we run the min. Before we take you to the station... A little dip. The water. What about it? It isn't there. Oh, no water. However, shall we swim with no water in a pool? <laughs> Whatever is to become of us? <laughs> now we are so sadly drowned, Strickle. <laughs> well, I don't think that was very funny. What? There's not an ice cream in sight. And no dreams either, thank goodness. Oh! oh what? What's going on? The land of dreams, that's what. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. I haven't got all day. Hop on. Oh. Plenty of room up top. Move right down the bus, please. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd wave this was a scream. A Pay this bream. Uh, say it was a dream. It is. I keep telling you, this is the land of dreams. <laughs> Don't you think the driver's going a bit fast? I do. Do you? Hey, slow down! Can't hear a word you're saying! <laughs> Faster, come on! More speed! Hey! Moonface! Hello? This is the land of dreams, Fran. It could be almost anything. Spark the muffin! Spark the muffin! What? Who said that? Me! Spark the muffin! Spark the muffin! What are you talking about? I'm the muffin man, I am. And what's all this about, spot the muffin? Well, if you can spot the muffin, you, young lady, will be one muffin the richer. Spot the muffin! Spot the muffin! It's there, in your hand. My, my! What a perspicacious young lady, to be sure. What's perspicacious? You are. <laughs> and here's your muffin. <laughs> Cheery, bye! And enjoy your muffin! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, lads, you can stop now. Last one in the pool is a sharp-nosed puffer fish. Hey, you two, you'll have to turn yourselves in now. <sighs> you can't miss the station. Down the road and turn left at the big present. Um, y oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, of course. The big present? Don't ask. Let's go before they change their minds. Or oh, we're into something else. Like a sludge gripper. What's a sludge gripper? I'm not sure. It's something I dream about from time to time. It's big and bulbous with great warty, slimy spots. Now that's what I call a present. To Joe, happy dreams. To me? That's mine? Wow! Well, aren't you going to open it? I'll say I am. Oh, fantastic! It's a flying saucer! Come on, Moonface! There's plenty of room for two! Slow down! Slow down, Road Frog! Calm down! Things could be worse. Verse? How can you think of poetry at a time like this? Oh, please, get me out of here! Your wish is my command. No wish too small, nor again too large. Come on! Come on! Hungry? Well, now you come to mention it. No! Me! Don't eat me! A talking muffin! I'm not a muffin! Wow! That's amazing! Do they teach you anything in school these days? Butterflies come from chrysalises. Yes, but you came from a muffin. Did I? My word. By the way, I'd get in that basket if I were you. What? What's she talking about? Oh, yes! Look over there! What? had the strangest dream. About a bus, a frog, and a magic carpet? Not at all. It was about a frog, a bus, and a magic carpet. <laughs> In a land filled with enchantment, there's a forest full of dreams where anything is possible.
wonder what land will be at the top of the tree today. Bran? Beth? Where are you? It might be the land of chocolate or cakes or... Milkshakes! Or bug-eyed monsters with attitude. <laughs> <laughs> quick! Quick! The land of spells has arrived! Land of smells? Ugh! How disgusting! I'm not going there. Imagine all your worst smells in one place. Boiled cabbage, oh. air, burnt chips, old socks, <laughs> rotten eggs. Friend, be quiet. You're making me feel queasy. It's the land of spells, Fran, not smells. Who smells? Not me, I hope. <laughs> no, nothing whiffy there. <laughs> oh, don't you start, Saucepan Man. I said the land of spells. Oh. I just hope I can get a fire crystal from the land of spells. Why? Because the heat's gone out of mine. Look. Fire crystals don't last forever. When they go cold, they have to be replaced. But you need a special magic to make them. Why don't you use wood? Or coal? Bash my ponds and pats. You can't use wood or coal in the faraway tree. It would burn down in seconds. Oh. oh. So no new crystal, no heat, no treats, no pot biscuits, nothing. That's a disaster. Then we'd better get up to the land of spells right away. Get a move on! We're on our way! <sighs> wow! It's magic! <laughs> bubble, bubble, toil and trouble! Fire, burn and cauldron bubble! Welcome to the land of spells! <laughs> Follow those witches! They might lead us to the magic crystal! We're not rats, we're just cats with a spell to make us sing out! Just rub us in lard and wave an ace card and you'll find out what singing's about. We can groove, we can move, depends on your mood. Whatever you fancy, we'll sing it. So don't stand there and stare. Get cool, hang loose. Get down, you dogs. Dig it. Yeah, excavate. Wait <laughs> <laughs> on me, baby. <laughs> Enchantress, do you know the secret of the fire crystals? Alas, no more. A wizard whose magic is greater than my own stole them from me. <gasps> where he took them to a tall dark tower where he locked away the crystals forever oh. just magic I'll have some of that stuff please that'll be one gold florin to you my boy No, mister. Will you be after sitting over there? Uh, going up! Oh, no. The land's moving on. Whistling kettles. I've got to tell you. Ah! Get it right. It's just a question of timing, you see. Whoa! Will you look at that? The land of spells is on the move. Okay. Back to the faraway tree. Quick, Beth. We've got to get out of here. We can't go yet. Silky's not found her fire crystal. I must have a new crystal. Come on. Here we are. You first, Fran. Down you go. It's such a pity we never found the fire crystal. Now we'll never have pop biscuits again. And I love pop biscuits. It's just not oh. oh. Oh, this doesn't feel right to me. It's so misty. And dark. Oh, my pats and pongs. Where are we? I knew it. <sighs> This isn't the faraway tree. 
We've come down the wrong hole. Spooky. <laughs> Visitors. How nice. Come in, come in. I'm Mr. Changeabout. What a relief. I thought it was Count Dracula. Got it? Um, I was just saying it's uh, spectacular. Oh. <laughs> have you had tea? Then you must have some. Ah. Eat. Oh, thank you very much. Delicious. Mm. Considering we've never met you before, it's very kind of you, Mr. Chain. Oh! Strangers in my cave stealing oh. my food. I'll change you all into pigs. You're not putting a turly kale and trotters on me. Thank you very much. Now what? There's no way out. A apart from the door. Whoa! It's melting. <laughs> You're clever, Joe. Think of something. Well, what about the window? Have you seen the drop? Oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> you won't keep me out for long. I've got it. Joe? What are you doing? We're going to fly away. Fly? Impossible. You must be joking. Jump on. <gasps> <laughs> this is the wizard's tall, dark tower. This is the place the Enchantress told me about in the crystal ball. Change you into cockroaches, oh. hornets, toads! I'll eat you up! Now would be a very good time to leave, I think. Silky! Oh! How dare you touch my crystals! Oh. Oh. Go, Joe, go! Where's the way home? <laughs> away now ah. my sentiments exactly joe whiz away home now oh. <laughs> look look what i've got Biscuits. Pop biscuits? You bet! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In a land filled with enchantment, there's a forest full of dreams where anything is possible.
go rub up the dirt and we scrub in the white. Scrubbing all day long and far into the night. Look out! Oi! Who's making all that noise? Oh, sorry, but you'd better... Don't you tell me what I can and can't do. But... <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! I'm all wet! <laughs> yes, you are! It's no laughing matter, young lady! I should go and dry yourself if I were you. You might catch cold. Come on, you two! You... what? You, 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 come back here! I haven't finished with you yet! There you are! I've been waiting for you. We had a spot of bother with the angry pixie. Very cross, was he? <laughs> yes, and wet. <laughs> you can tell me all about it later. Right now, we must hurry. Hurry? Why? The Land of Marvels. It's at the top of the tree. The Land of Marvels. It sounds, well, marvellous. It is. I'll tell Moonface and Saucepan Man you're here. The Land of Marvels. I remember it well. A bell? Yes, I can hear it too. That's not a bell. It's your pans. Yes, and there was me thinking there was something wrong with my ears. Wow. Oh. Is that all you can say? Wow. Wow. Tree. It looks pretty ordinary to me. It's not doing much singing. It isn't singing at all. Can I borrow one of your pans? So kind. Would you like my autograph? What? As one of my biggest fans, you'll be wanting my autograph. Oh, dear. Here. Yeah. It would have been thrice to have a nan. Nice to have a fan. <laughs> Must have uh, dropped oh. off. Now, where was I? That's awful. But you have to admit, it's pretty unusual. Unusual? It's horrible. Oh. oh, look! Where'd that come from? The volcano must be erupting. Volcano? Over there! Now that is marvellous! It's beautiful! It's... it's... Now there's a first. Brand stuck for words. <laughs> Look, everyone, the hole in the clouds! It's closing! <gasps> Quick! Too late! What do we do now? Uh, panic? No. Panicking never did any good. A waste of energy. I wonder where that leads to. I wonder. Wonder what? It might possibly be our way out. If it leads up to the next land to visit the tree... Why don't we go and find out? Yes! Be careful! It's a really, really long way up there. I wonder what this is. What's happening? The ladder! Did I do that? Oh, dear. Oh, look what you a bun? How can you think of food at a time like this? Moonface! Joe! Look out! What? You know what you were saying earlier about panicking? And you said it never did any good? Yes. Well, I think I've changed my mind.
goodness! They're saved! They wave? I should think they have. They're saved. Oh, boy. I never want to do that again. It was a nightmare. Yes. My whole life flashed in front of me. I must say, I've had a very interesting life. Except for that bit when I tried gravel collecting. Well, I'm really glad you're both still in one piece, but it still doesn't get us home. Could try floating there. Floating? What do you mean? There. Those dandelion clocks. Have you ever seen those seeds floating through the air? They seem to stay up forever. I suppose it's worth a try. Oh! Wow! It works! Whee! Wicked idea, Beth. Brilliant! I'm flying like a third. Look at me! I'm flying! Silky, you can fly anyway. Oh, yes! But this is so much easier! Oh, no! How do we get through that? Where's the door? We don't need a door! Follow me! Oh, my arms are getting really tired, Beth! No, don't let... I don't think I can hold on much longer! No, Beth! What are we waiting for? Honestly, Beth, I thought it was the end of you. You were just falling down and down, and I didn't know what to do. It was awful. And then when you appeared again, it was like... like it was my birthday or something. Beth? You haven't been listening, have you? Oh, sorry, Fran. It's just that this cloud tastes of candy floss. What? <laughs> oh, yes, you're right. Hey, these clouds taste like candy floss. Wow, this is the best candy floss I've ever tasted. It's delicious. Oh, I do love candy floss. Just a minute, everyone. There's something I think you ought to throw. I think you ought to know. What is it, Saucepan Man? These clouds taste like candy floss. Mm -hmm. Look, everyone. It's the top of the faraway tree. Hooray! Oh, there. Now that was what I call a really tasty adventure. And sticky. Come on, time we went home. It's almost tea time. I think I've eaten enough to last me all week. So it's down the slippery slip. Bye. 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 Possible.